um, your name, age, gender, ethnic, race, occupation, and marital status. Uh, so good morning. So my name is Muhammad Zakon Hafid bin Abdul Razak. So I am 21 years old. Uh, gender male and ethnic and race is Malay. Uh, occupation, I am a, a pharmacy student at private university and marital status is single. Okay, so uh, we'll be moving on to the next question, which is COVID-19 personal experience questions. So the first question is, um, what was your personal COVID-19 pandemic experience like? So my personal COVID-19 pandemic since uh, the starting of the pandemic, I'm doing my foundation. So most of the pandemic has impacted me uh, through academic, in terms of academic uh, life, because I've not graduated uh, my foundation years physically, but uh, through online stuff. And also I started my degree also uh, online and not face to face. So I think how the pandemic has impacted has impacted me is through my academic life. I see. And um, how did the pandemic uh, affect your daily life or daily, uh, I mean, like, behavior? I, was, I wouldn't say how uh, that pandemic has much impact on my daily life or behavior because uh, prior to pandemic also I'm not that extroverted or going social gathering or like that so I would say that it's kind of normal for me to be in uh, that quarantine time and there's no much thing has impacted me and um, how has the pandemic changed you? Uh, I think for this question, how pandemic has changed me is basically, I'm not really sure, but I think it's more towards my communication skill with other people because I noticed that uh, my communication skill before and after has impacted me had, uh, on how I have confidence on it because prior to pandemic, I think uh, presentation or anything related to professional communication is not really a deal for me. But then after pandemic and we start, uh, I start to go to physical class, I think it's becoming harder for me or more difficult for me because I'm not really are uh, really familiar with the oral presentation and those face to face. Yeah, I think that's how it uh changed me. And for the last question about COVID nineteen personal experience, what have you learned during the pandemic as life in general and through society? Uh, in the, in general, I think pandemic, uh, from my perspective, from in general, this pandemic has opened, uh, opportunity in terms of societal. I think because, uh, before this we are not very, very familiar with, uh, business online or something like that. I think from that perspective uh it changed our our culture of the online setup for and also like uh in general I think since pandemic everything is more on online centric more than physical life. All right, we're moving on to the next section. Uh, it's a topic-related question. 
So do you agree with the statement COVID-19 has made us a more caring society? And if you agree, why can you explain why you agree with the statement? Uh I think because uh, I think uh it makes us to become more caring society, I think in the most Malaysia whole fully because uh Unlike before, this pandemic has impacted everyone. So everyone is kind of being more empathetic about it. And everyone knows that uh, everyone, every Malaysian goes something in everyday life because the changes. So I think it changed us uh, to become more caring society also because uh, of the white flag program and everything we used to look out for each other and also the slogan that uh, we use to help people to be vaccinated. Yeah, I think we tend to not be individualistic but trying to have better outcome as a society. So, yeah. Yes, definitely. I agree with you. So next, um, what tools or methods have you been using to be more caring towards others during the pandemic? Uh, as I mentioned before that post-pandemic, we become more uh, online century or like, yeah, online century. I think the tools that we are using mostly using phone and uh, media social uh, like from my part, I think I'm more caring about my close friend and my siblings that are not living with me at the time. So we usually contact each other using WhatsApp, Twitter, or might be also Facebook. So I think the tools that I'm using is basically the media social platform. Is there any consequences um, by using the social media platform to contact other people? Uh, I guess personally, I think because uh, sometimes uh, in case, for instance, my sister that live kind of far away from me and my family at that time because uh, the one that haven't met I'm not yet married. I uh, stay with my parents at Pahang and then my sister at K KL and she's also alone but she need to go to work. And then that time, I think uh, most people that live alone but cannot come out of their house, they tend to have this loneliness or feeling like left out. So I think the consequences of using the media social is that we can reassure uh, them that they are not alone in this uh, pandemic and also to make their uh, to make them worry less yeah I, think. I see okay then why did why did you feel it was crucial to have um, a caring society during the pandemic? Uh, it is crucial because the consequences of pandemic itself is not based on the health uh, itself, but also on the psychological perspective also. So as much how we preach about mental health, we also need to look up for each other, not just by saying uh, oh, mental health is essential, but we need to do with our action. So the action to provide better mental health outcome, I think, would be in terms of being more caring. And then from the health perspective also, uh, by being caring in society, we tend to look out for each other so we are not like individualistic uh, having individualistic mindset and think about ourselves so as we can see like Malaysia have very high vaccination rate 
So I think it's mostly uh, stem from the idea that everyone matters. So uh, be vaccination, uh, be vaccinated can help each other. And I think it's one of the caring part of our society. Okay, the next question. Um, are you attempting to implement any new routines you learned that you learned throughout the pandemic to ensure that your society will always be in harmony? Uh, can I uh, can you rephrase this question because I don't get the meaning behind it? I sure can. Um, are you planning to um? Applying any any new life routine to your daily life to make sure um your society will always be in harmony after the pandemic post pandemic. So the 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 the, the routine uh, should be related to our society or to its myself. Uh. It can be both. Oh, okay. I, uh, for the, the routine or being more caring society, I think, would be, uh, be mindful of what we are saying online and offline. I think that one is a crucial thing for me. And also, I think it will lead to a better and harmony society because if we tend to think first before we see, be it online or offline, I think we will not hurt anyone in the process and also we can lead to more tolerable society and also consequently be more harmony. All right, so for the last question, uh, is there any positive or negative lesson that you have learned during the pandemic? Uh, for the positive lesson is that Uh, I think be more like caring towards our neighbor. <laughs> we towards our friend, family, and friends can uh bring up closer than before than prior to pandemic, and we can understand everyone um uh, in better in more depth, and also it also help us in the empathetic part also because when we try to put ourselves in someone's shoes uh, we are being more empathetic and trying to understand and for the negative lesson is that I think throughout the pandemic we can see how fast uh, the mean, misinformation can it could be spread just like how people try to say that vaccination is one of of the agenda of big pharma or anything and due to media social even though it's good it has also cons in terms of the how it's so easy to spread misinformation about something and i think people who are expert at their field like field of medicine or field of health sciences should be more aware and try to uh, 